It is back, the second annual fist fight between Marshawn Lattimore and Mike Evans. That is, if Lattimore plays this Monday night, we're going to get into prop bets. We're going to get into some fantasy football start sits. Let's go. All right, let's get into the prop bets here. And friendly reminder, this is not betting advice. My advice actually is not to be betting. But what we're going to do on this channel is we're going to start with a fake $100. And we're going to see how we do throughout the weeks betting on a couple of games here and there, hypothetically. So with this game, we have an over under currently right now on November 30th, around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at 40 points. And we just watched the... Indianapolis Colts and the Steelers, two terrible offenses, have a 39.5 over under, and they beat it. That was on Monday night. I certainly think that this game is going to be more than 40 points, no doubt about it. Plus, we have the Tampa Bay Bucks who are at home. I'm going to take them on the win at minus 195, and then I'm actually going to take the Saints to cover the spread at plus 3.5 points. So for those that are new and don't really understand what the spread is, essentially what that means is we're betting on the Saints to win or lose by less than three and a half points. So if they lose by a field goal, you still make money. Let's talk about the top performers for this game. It's, I think it's a no-brainer. I think it's going to be Chris Godwin. However, something I want to point out here, this, this could happen. And what if they take Marshawn Lattimore, granted, if he plays, and stick him on Godwin? Because we all know that Mike Evans hasn't been doing anything over the last three weeks. For top QBs, I think it's going to be Tom Brady this week and top RB, although we've got the New Orleans Saints ranked 8th versus the run this year, I still think that Alvin Kamara is going to have his game. I mean, look at these fantasy points here. We got, get the guy in the end zone. The, the, the Saints are not using this guy effectively in the red zone, and it's really disheartening to see. This guy used to be a TD machine, and to see these numbers this year, I mean, it's just pathetic. They got to use him in the red zone. They got to get him going. And then we're just going to quickly cover the defense and offensive rankings. So as we just said, New Orleans ranked eighth against the run position <clears throat> and versus the wideout position, they're ranked 22. Tampa Bay ranked 15 against wide receivers this year, speaking fantasy wise, and Tampa Bay ranked three this year against the RB position fantasy wise as well. So again, got the total at 40 for the over, minus 195, and plus 3.5 for the Saints on the overall props and the bets. Let's go into some start sits here. We're going to start with the Saints, and we're going to start with Chris Olave, who I am 100% starting this week. And you can see over the last couple of weeks, we have 8.7, 18.7, 5.5, 10.1. Those are his fantasy numbers. We're looking at those from a half point PPR perspective. And it really, I mean, the volume is definitely starting to increase a little bit. As you can see, five receptions, five receptions, three, six, five, seven. He, he's definitely starting to get some more looks. And I think in this game, he's going to have to be a playmaker. He's really going to have to get open down the field. He's going to have to beat that secondary. And he's going to need to get into the end zone for a big boom game. I think he's still going to get probably over 10 fantasy points uh, this week against the Bucks. And let's move on quickly here now to Alvin Kamara. And we've been talking about this guy. We we know that he is not getting used in the red zone. And why he's not getting used in the red zone, God only knows. I, I cannot give you any explanation. And it's going to be tough, especially in the red, red zone this week against that Tampa Bay Bucks run defense. And then we got Andy Dalton. I think Andy Dalton, I don't, I don't think this game's going to be as much of as close as people think it's going to be, or excuse me, not as close. I don't think that this is going to be a major blowout. Like everybody thinks it's going to be that the Bucks are going to just come and come and run house. Tom Brady has not looked that good this year. He has been starting to slow down. He has been missing targets. He's been hitting people in the, hitting people in the feet, cough, Mike Evans, cough. And I think Andy Dalton is going to have an opportunity here to really actually make a statement and secure that job away from Jameis Winston, who we know is a bit frustrated because he quote unquote lost his job when he got injured. And for the sits, I'm going to be sitting Jarvis Landry this week, as well as Traquan Smith. Um, I, I think Jarvis Landry, way too touchdown dependent. I think if he gets a TD, that's the only way he gets maybe even close to those 10 points. Other than that, maybe two to three receptions this game. And Traquan Smith, um, quite, quite frankly, I just realistically don't see him being that much of a threat in the fantasy landscape this week. But if you're really hurting at wide receiver, I would probably be picking Landry over Traquan Smith.
And now we've got the start sits for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And there's a lot of what ifs in this game. Let's start with the starts and Leonard Fournette and Rashad White. Because if playoff Lenny doesn't play, then I'm going to fire up Rashad White. No questions asked. If Lenny does play, then I'm going to be sitting Rashad White. That's why you see those asterisks there. Chris Godwin, no-brainer. If you have him, you're starting him. He is the clear wide receiver one in Tampa Bay. Mike Evans is not the wide receiver one in Tampa Bay anymore. I'm sorry. Tom Brady, I think the GOAT is still going to get this game done. I think it's going to be a close game, but I think he is going to be fantasy relevant this week against this Saints secondary. And then we have Mike Evans and Julio Jones. Mike Evans, I am sitting this guy. As you can see on the graphic here, look at these last three games. Six and a half points, 7.9 points, 4.1 points. I just don't know what's going on over there, and I just can't seem to figure it out. Brady seems to love throwing the ball to Chris Godwin. He has no problem hitting Chris Godwin, and then anytime that he targets Mike Evans, he's throwing the ball at his feet. Anytime that he throws the ball to Julio Jones, he actually makes pretty decent throws to Julio Jones as well, but just doesn't target him as much, probably because Julio is suffering from that 10-year ankle injury, as well as just starting to get a bit older in age. So if Marshawn Lattimore plays... I 100% think that he will be on Mike Evans. But the smart thing to do would be to probably put him on Chris Godwin. But for media ratings, we all know they're going to put him on Mike Evans and everybody wants to see the fist fight round too. But with that said, I'm sitting Mike Evans this week. I think he's going to get shut down by Lattimore once again. And with that said, we're going to go over now and we're going to put our fake hundred bucks on those prop bets. We're going to do about 10 bucks on each of them, say more or less. And then we're going to calculate out what the profit could be. So with our fake 100 bucks here, we've got 35 bucks in the pool. We're going to wager 15 on the over for 40 points, 10 bucks on the Bucks winning the game, and then 10 bucks on the Saints covering the spread at three and a half. So if we bet 10 bucks there on the Saints covering the spread, we're going to win about nine bucks. And if you bet 10 bucks on the Bucks winning the game, you're going to win a whole five dollars. And then you can do the math there on the wagers 15, and then the total win, including your 15 bucks back, would be 28. So the possible winnings here would be 62 two bucks and 86 cents and the overall risk would be 35 dollars so again i am not promoting that we take any of these bets this is all hypothetical and this is really to educate on how easy it could be to lose money on some of these prop bets so with that said i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys found it fun informative make sure you hit that subscribe button join into the channel for the next video and i'll see you later